much more is going uh, on and, there. And this place is bizarre. It's there's there's it's wild wild. wild. really disappointing. I love the I love uh Sac Saint as uh, just one of the most what? interesting megalithic rock structures in the world. It's it's in there. It's a world class anthropological destination. It's in there with the right. pyramids as far as I'm concerned. Right. This place is fantastic. The whole town was it was an Inca it was it was the Inca palaces were there and what they some of it they've done a little bit of work on it and they've made it nice but there's a whole whole other areas that they've never done anything with it and it's just sad to see it it's pretty much gone to waste that they could really turn this into something spectacular but we met some nice people we ate at the little market always it was our tradition and we met very we studied nice some more, ladies we studied and, some more spanish we yes. had and we did we made friends with the people were uh they were accustomed to tourists, so part of it was that. But then after after they see you more than twice or three times, they realize you're actually going to stay there for a while. You actually cross over to another level where we did right. stuff together. A relationship. When we had yeah. a little... They invited us to join us. Yeah. So now that you've done this circuit through Central America and through the north of South America, and now what? Now what? Um, when we still were in Cusco, we decided that we don't go. It was still summertime in Chile, so it's chilly. We wanted to go down to Patagonia and it's cold. So we decided, how about we go back to Colombia? So we went back to Amazonas and Leticia and it, it's almost night and day. You cross? Oh, yes. We, we went... It's we, like you step back into civilization. It's so interesting. We flew to a city in Peru, in it's a capital of Amazonas. It's called Iquitos. Iquitos. Mm -hmm. It's something you read about in Graham Greene's novels. <laughs> it's, it's very bizarro world there. So oh. we stayed only for three days. That was it. Enough. This yeah. town is isolated. You can only get to it on the river or in an airplane. The roads uh, get washed out. There's no more. there's no major roads going into this no, town no, no. at all. So the, they are really isolated in Amazonas. Yeah. The place is Bizarre. it's there's there's it's wild wild. There's lots of it's uh, cheap drugs, prostitution, uh, attitude. It, it really, just it's very strange. Wild, 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 wild poaching, dangerous, everything, yeah. everything that you can imagine. Um, People disappear doing ayahuasca. That's bizarre. Also, you know, attraction for Westerners. So, yeah, we took a boat. And we took there. a twelve-hour boat ride and came back to Colombia. And right away, we said, "Well, we're gonna." probably stay in Colombia. I mean that was that was the, the verdict. Didn't take too you know, just it was where in Colombia. Well, for me I saw Bunuelo, I said I <laughs> <laughs> but dicted. Um the, the town itself, the TC is very nice. It's there's a it's the three there's Peru, there's uh Brazil, Brazil. and then there's yeah. uh Colombia all right there in that little area. But it's very very beautiful. Um, you cross but, you cross the border and you see the difference. It's cleaner. It's more modern. The police are the police and the soldiers are, are, are so nice. Are more put so together. Friendly. Yeah, so they're put together. Nice. They're friendly. They're, they have uniforms. Oh. Sweet people. And then um, we went back to uh, Medellin. And, no, and we, we we stayed in Amazonas a little we stayed bit. Stayed in Amazonas first. It was a dream. So we yeah. spent a week. And no, uh, that was beautiful. It was to, uh, great, great. To explore the, the river and some of those villages, and then when we came back to the city, it was like, oh yeah, yeah, this is. Where are we going to stay? So we started really in earnest looking at the map and reading the statistics and asking the questions about um, what we wanted to know about expat communities. And we, we started the process with visa. And we started the process yeah. with visas. That's yeah. a commitment. Yeah. Um, so then it all started in Medellin, and we've been traveling by that point almost 10 months. Yes, so, so it was time to... So we... It, to keep traveling at that point, um, 
it, it was it was getting difficult. We wanted a home base. We want to continue to explore South America. There's a lot of places to go. There's a lot of more places to go in Colombia. There's so much to see in Colombia. It is, is an amazing uh, place. So we said we need a base of operations. We're going to have a home home camp, home base, and it's going to be somewhere in Colombia. So we started the process. At Medellin, we stayed in Sabaneta last, our last day. We stayed in Sabaneta. It's the most southern part. It's a municipality, but it's part of Medellin. We loved it. It's very uh, pronounced feel of small town. Yeah. Very friendly, family friendly. This park, people come on weekends from the other parts of Medellin to spend time there. Great restaurants, great, great restaurants, just great people. Nice, nice we, place. Inexpensive compared to other parts. Mm -hmm. We also stayed at a hostel near the airport, a place called uh, Los Maracos. 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 And it was. We met a really sweet couple there. That the and it right away again. It felt very We're, welcoming. Yeah. Very welcoming, very familiar, and these were folks we just met, and yeah. they were just so hospitable, and it was really a noticeable difference. But then again, I admit the gene, I get headaches there, probably because it's in, in the valley, and we decided, okay, Lauren talked a lot about Armenia. How oh, it's about, my fault? Yes, yes. How about we head that way and go to coffee region? to Salamina. Mm -hmm. We thought that Salamina was really a gem. It's very authentic. It's like a time capsule. It's, it was an intellectual hub in 19th, end of 19th century. It was an intellectual hub of uh, Antioquia. Uh -huh. And it, there are so many interesting people. That they have ties. From. They have ties that go back to uh, Panama too. No, it's it, it's it, rich, historical rich, roots rich, come out of there. It's, it's amazing, and it's a time capsule, a tiny place. There are no tourists there at all. We went to Finlandia. We went to Salento. We went to Salento's beautiful. No, we we, we liked well, Finlandia. El Jardín. When we were in El Jardín, yeah, it's El Jar Jardín fantastic. is a little further north. Kukura, we, we, interestingly enough, because it's so touristy, we went to another valley, wax valley valley that has more trees actually it's um, an hour and a half from Salamina Sal it's Salamina, difficult yeah. to reach it's more difficult to reach well, yeah. Maria, it's Samaria Valley yes yeah, and it's very Incredible. spectacular we saw again lots of birds so you've got to go saw, to Mali saw toucans we saw like whole flocks of parrots in wow. there no it, it's it's it, nobody's there there is very little tourism and the birds are they fly right up to you. I mean, we saw two can just flew right up on the side of the road. Side. And of course, oh. nobody had their camera. But um, it's okay. But you need to take a wheelie to go there. Yeah, you got to be in a Jeep. Yeah. 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 So we did that. We, we didn't go to Kokora. And, but yeah, we... Again, we loved, we felt really the people in, in El Jardin were very nice. But again, it's a small, really small village. You probably couldn't, it really wouldn't be no, sustained for a long term. Uh, residential situation. Beautiful. Beautiful. Though. If you start to feel isolated, but it was a beautiful spot. Really. Um, Very happy. I said I came up with the idea that if you are depressed and you're on Prozac, throw the Prozac, go to Hardin. Yeah. It's a happy, happy place. Happy. Everything about it is happy. Everybody's happy. I mean, yeah. part of it's maybe they start drinking beer at eight, <laughs> nine in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty common. Which I, uh, I can acclimate to that <laughs> culture quite easily. No, but they was, were. They they did drink a lot of beer. They just it was just part of the part of the routine. You'd have Clean. beer beer with your breakfast. Did you decide to make this your place? Um, it climate is good. People are very 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 kind and pleasant. And so from that moment it was just nah, probably not. 